And my name is John at uh, Butler Community College. Um, we just epoxied this and to, for adhesion, uh, adhesion purposes and then uh, corrosion protection. And then we put some primer surfacer on it to give us something to sand so we can get it ready for paint. So we're going to jump into this with uh, some 320 grit on the blocks so we uh, don't leave bad scratches. That way we we'll ho hopefully won't have to reprime that. And uh, you're going to want to put some uh, guide coat on it to show your loads. There's a dry guide coat and a spray guide coat. I prefer the dry. It's a little easier to work with. You just dab it on here. Not that much left. Make sure you get it all over, over all parts of the panel. When you're sanding on this, you want to make sure to make nice cross coats just all the way across the panel in both directions to cross sand it. That way you don't leave any waves in your paint. You want to clean this off just using, since it's a real high grit, it's going to get a lot of dust in there and that can leave some deep scratches and swirls in the sanding. Make sure to keep the block very flat. You don't want to follow the line. And you can see how it's leaving some guide coat there. You don't want to try to sand that out. You want to leave that. That's uh, that's what the whole point of the guide coat is, is to leave spots to show your lows. These might still be able to be sanded out, but make sure you don't turn the board. Just keep going across, and if it sands out, fine. If not, you're going to want to go down. Once you start seeing metal, you're going to want to stop. It's indicating that you have a low there. Okay, I'm going to switch to the smaller block now. Make sure you keep cleaning off your sandpaper. And the smaller block just makes it a little bit easier to deal with the panel, since it's a smaller panel. Oh. See, we got a real soft edge here. That's because we back masked. It's one of the benefits of doing it. Now we're just going to feather this edge out real quick. Okay, now I got a DA with some 500 grit sandpaper and an inner surface pad. We're going to sand this down, get minimize some of those 320 scratches. That way, when we're painting, it doesn't leave any sand scratches or anything. We're just going to start here. This was already sanded with 800 for blending. So you're not really going to want to go that far, just these areas, you can actually see the 320 scratches through there. You just start in there, so we work your way back on the panel. Now that we've got this completely blocked out, got it scuffed up, now we just need to clean it off, get it in the booth, mask it up, and it's ready for paint.